I know exactly where we are. Or you, everybody does record wise, and I get it. So I just thought I'd say it. I don't because people are going to ask me, well, how do you how do you feel about now making the decision to come? How do you, how do you think about people wanting you not here? I mean, come come on. I, so I thought I just would address it. Mike Riley called it the elephant in the room. That's why he chose to address the state of the Husker football program during his opening remarks earlier today in Lincoln. Although he says so far they failed at three and six, he thinks that with hard work and coaching, there's still time to fix the immediate problems that plagued his team, like turnovers and, and penalties, while fostering a winning culture at Nebraska. UNL athletic director Sean Eichhorn is releasing a letter to the fans saying, "Your support and patience as Mike Riley rebuilds our storied program one brick at a time means the world to our young men, our staff, and our university." Eichhorn understands fans are disappointed, but he says he's confident. The future of Nebraska football is bright. Mike Riley says his goals remain the same for the Huskers moving forward. There's no doubt we want to win the championship, and uh, and there's no doubt of what we want to do inside the program. You know, the football part of it and how you compete and what you want to do. Uh, that part's easy, and the other part is really important to me personally that this is a program that all can be proud of. And some bad news confirmed for DeMorne Pearsonell. The sophomore season is over after he broke his leg, did damage to his knee during a second quarter celebration at Purdue. Other injury notes. Good news, though, for Tommy Armstrong. The quarterback should be back from his turf toe injury. However, I back Carol Newby. Questionable for Saturday's game against Michigan State with an ankle injury. Wide receiver Brandon Riley, his foot was in a boot today with a foot injury. Alonzo Moore should return from a shoulder stinger. And linebacker Chris Weber should be back as well at full strength. Scheduling notes, the game this Saturday against 6th ranked Michigan State will start at 6 o'clock at Memorial Stadium on ESPN. Then a week from Saturday, Nebraska at Rutgers. It's a 2.30 start on the Big Ten Network.